today our topic is uh, exercise 11.4 in trigonometry so in the last classes we completed up to exercise 11.3 right so now we are going to solve exercise 11.4 problems so i hope everyone understanding the concepts very clearly uh, if anything is uh, misunderstood uh, please uh, comment and uh, then we will uh, do the again uh, again one more videos on that where you are uh, are not getting properly okay so i hope all our uh, uh, all videos are very clear so if anything is uh, wrong or anything you are you need more explanation on any topic uh, please uh, comment in the comment box then we will uh, surely we will work on it okay uh, thanks at the same time thanks for being my youtube channel and at the same time you are supporting a lot uh, thanks for all this so let us start the session right Uh, so see here as of now uh, trigonometric ratios of complementary angles so basically we already learned what is uh, trigonometric ratios right so what is here a uh, new thing is that the new thing is complementary angles so what is mean by complementary angles complementary angles so we already know that what we know that we already know if two angles are said to be two angles are said to be complementary if two angles are said to be complementary complementary then sum of their angles must be 90 some of their angles must be 90 degrees okay are you understood uh, what i am saying any two angles are said to be complementary if their sum of the angles must be 90 for example for your understanding purpose i am taking one more example see here for suppose angle a equals to 45 degrees so i am saying that angle a and angle b are complementary so what is the angle for b what is the angle b it is absolutely 45 why because what is the condition here here condition is that sum of the two angles must be equals to 90 so if one of the angle is 45 means what is the remaining to uh, get the 90 the remaining to get the 90 is 45 so for suppose one more example if angle a equals to 30 degrees so what is the angle b what is the angle b when both are when both are complementary to each other when both are complementary angles when both are complementary angles so what is the answer here when both are complementary angles so if angle a equals to 30 is given so angle plus angle b equals to 90 why because the sum of their angles must be 90 so i am writing angle a equal to 30 plus angle b i don't know so i am i want to find the angle b right now see here 30 plus angle b equals to 90 90 now what should i do here angle b equals to 90 minus 30 how i am doing 90 minus 30 how is means so i am sending this lhs part towards the rhs side yes or no yes here positive quantity this positive quantity when it is transposed towards the rhs side uh, this becomes negative quantity am i clear yeah so it will become so what it becomes it becomes 60 degrees am i clear so i hope i am i clear but uh, still i will i will do a little bit changes if i am not if you are not visible then it will be problem for me to so now see we will go to this one right see now is it okay right so 
one more example i will give don't worry we this is our only uh, explanation part uh, examples we will cover in this examples and explanation total com uh, complete introduction to the complementary angles one more example here so let us take angle a equals to 60 degrees then what is angle b when both are complementary to each other when both are complementary angles where a and b are complementary angles so you simply remember what you have to remember you have to remember that sum of the angles must be equal to 90 see now so angle a equal to 60 given so you should find the angle b right so that is equal to 60 plus angle b equals to 90 okay then what you will get here you get here what do you get you get angle angle b equals to 90 minus 60 90 minus 60 what is 90 minus 60 that is 30 understood so in this way you should do all the problems in our exercise but they are not given in this format so we should do c now so i will make it a smaller yeah so now see the our basic agenda is here our main agenda is to find the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles trigonometric ratios of complementary angles okay see now so trigonometric ratios of complementary angles we need to find right so here what is the triangle given here triangle is a b c is given okay so now write trigonometric ratios for this sin theta so no need to write theta here sin x okay sin x so what is sin x from this so i am writing again drawing here same thing here same thing drawing here okay this is a right angle at b so and this is c now what is the sin x formula sin x formula is opposite by hypotenuse what is your opposite here x with respect to x what is opposite here angle x opposite is bc what is adjacent here adjacent is sorry what is opposite here bc adjacent uh, sorry our sin theta formula is opposite by hypotenuse remember it okay opposite by hypotenuse so this is opposite bc is the opposite hypotenuse is ac ah, hypotenuse is ac next cos x what is the cos x formula same adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent is what adjacent is ab ab by what is hypotenuse here ac so it is adjacent by hypotenuse am i clear next next sine completed cos completed cosec what is cosec x formula cosec x is that so cos x is the reciprocal of sin x right so it is nothing but hypotenuse by opposite what is hypotenuse here hypotenuse is ac by hypotenuse by what is opposite here bc so i am i will write to you if you are confusing this is hypotenuse and this is adjacent and this is so sorry this is what this is i put opposite opposite this is adjacent now so what is the cosec x is equal to 
AC by BC. What is nothing but AC is nothing but hypotenuse. Hypotenuse by what is BC here? BC is opposite. Okay, clear. Next, sin x cos x sec x cos x completed. Now sec x. So what is the sec x formula? Sec x formula is reciprocal of cos. So that is nothing but hypotenuse by hypotenuse by adjacent hypotenuse by adjacent now what is hypotenuse here hypotenuse is ac what is adjacent here adjacent is ab see here adjacent is what this is hypotenuse ac what is adjacent adjacent is ab next cortex before cortex we will we will write easily tan x right tan x what is tan x formula tan x formula is nothing but sin x by cos x sin x by cos x is nothing but opposite by adjacent what is opposite here opposite is bc what is adjacent here ab right okay then it is opposite by adjacent then what is cortex cortex is reverse of the tan x that is nothing but adjacent by opposite adjacent by opposite what is adjacent here a b what is hypotenuse here sorry what is opposite here bc am i clear so these are the things we find with respect to angle x now don't confuse here it is very simple now we have to find here angle a is given right so angle a is given angle a equal to what we are considering here angle a equals to x degrees so now what is angle c what about angle c so how to find angle c is already given angle b is a right angle that means it is 90 degrees it is 90 degrees we already know that according to triangle what is the sum of the angles of triangle according to triangle formula sum of the angles of the triangle is 180 degrees a plus b plus c equals to 180 degrees okay now already our, our angle b is we know the angle b value what is that angle b value 90 yes or no so a plus b value is 90 plus c equal to 180 now a plus c is equals to what we have to know a plus c equals to 180 minus 90 that is nothing but a plus c equals to 90 degrees yes or no yes angle a plus angle c equal to 90 degrees but we need here angle a equal to x degrees we know yes or no angle a equal to x degrees let us consider this is your equation one substitute the angle a value substitute the angle a value substitute the angle a value in okay fine substitute the angle a value in equation one so now in the place of a we should write x degrees right x degrees plus c equals to 90 degrees now angle c equals to 90 degrees minus x understood so i explain this all things why because of this one only what is this this is important thing here so what is angle c angle c is nothing but 90 degree minus x 90 degrees minus x this one this part this part is 90 degree minus x okay 90 minus x so now we should do with respect to angle c we should find all these trigonometric ratios again all the ratios again so where should i write okay 
if you copy this thing i will remove this thing and i will write here why because i need to compare that and i will uh, reveal the logic what is behind it okay so i am uh, as, as of now i am removing it uh, please copy if you are need it okay so i am erasing this thing yes okay fine uh, see now now we are finding sign we are finding sign 90 so i will i will write upside little bit upside sign 90 minus x 90 degrees okay 90 minus x is 90 degrees so see here as per this 90 degrees minus x the here angle c so now what is a sine formula sine formula is opposite by hypotenuse so with respect to this what is opposite here with respect to this this angle what is opposite opposite is a b opposite is a b then what is hypotenuse with respect with respect to this this angle so that is ac sign completed next moving to the cos cos of 90 minus x see now what is the cos formula adjacent by hypotenuse with respect to this angle what is adjacent adjacent is bc then what is hypotenuse ac next cosec x cosec x now what is the cosec x formula hypotenuse by opposite hypotenuse is what here hypotenuse is ac then sorry i should write here 90 minus x okay okay here i should write 90 minus x okay cosec of 90 minus x equals to uh, now what is cosec formula hypotenuse what is hypotenuse here ac by what is opposite here with respect to this angle what is opposite here ab next one sec x sec of 90 minus x so now what is the sec formula hypotenuse by adjacent hypotenuse is what here hypotenuse is ac here and what is adjacent here uh, the adjacent is bc here next cortex or tan x we will take tan x tan 90 minus x tan 90 minus x equals 2 so now what is tan opposite by adjacent what is opposite here with respect to 90 minus x what is opposite that is ab then what is adjacent that is bc next cortex cot of 90 minus x what is cortex formula adjacent by opposite here what is adjacent bc what is up adjacent completed right what is opposite ab uh, so now see as of now with respect to x we written all ratios with respect to 90 minus x we written all ratios so now we need to find what is the relation between them we need to find what is the relation between them see now here sin x bc by ac here sin x ab by ac here cos x ab by ac here cos x bc by ac by this you will understand one thing right what is the thing is sin x becomes here cos x see here here bc by ac and uh, wait a second here bc by ac 
and here dc by ac so here what we are doing now complementary angles right trigonometric ratios for complementary angles so it is a relation here so what you have to remember here sin x reciprocal uh, sorry complementary angle is that is nothing but cos of 90 minus x equals to bc by ac here bc by ac so if you write like this you can get see here we can write sin x as sin x as cos of 90 minus x understood so for this derivation i explain the entire this concept understood so this is the basic definition we need to know now see cos ab by ac see here sin ab by ac these both are matching yes or no yes so nothing but cos x can be written as cos x can be written as sin of 90 minus x sin of 90 minus x next cosec x see cosec x is ac by bc here see sec x ac by bc compare these two things ac by bc ac by bc understood so we can write this we can write as cosec x as cosec x as what we can write cosec x as cosec x as sec of 90 minus x understood so see the here sec x ac by bc sec x is ac by bc now what is the cosec x here ac by bc understood so these are the complementary trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios for complementary angles see here cot x ab by bc see here tan x ab by bc so cot x can be written as cot x can be written as tan of 90 minus x understood so by this we will conclude that we will conclude see i will write all the ratios here come for complementary angles so i will make it little bit smaller yeah is it visible okay fine yeah now see so from first time also i will write here just a little bit more this side okay right now sin sin 90 minus x cos 90 minus x cosec 90 minus x sec 90 minus x next tan 90 minus x cot 90 minus x yeah these are degrees okay fine yeah now so by this explanation we will clearly write right so sin 90 minus x see here sin 90 minus x sin 90 minus x ab by ac ab by ac what is that cos x understood next cos 90 minus x cos 90 minus x that is nothing but sin x next cos 90 minus x where is cosec 90 minus x here cosec 90 minus x okay cosec 90 minus x is equals to what uh, so cosec 90 minus x equals to ac by ab where is ac by ab 
AC by AB that is nothing but sec x. Next sec 90 minus x. Sec 90 minus x AC by BC. AC by BC that is nothing but cosec x. Next tan 90 minus x. Tan 90 minus x that is nothing but AB by BC. Where is AB by BC? That is cot x. Next, cot 90 minus x, cot 90 minus x, BC by AB, BC by AB, that is tan x. These uh, ratios are very important while solving the problems in the exercise 11.3. Are you clear? So, it is main important. So, if you remember only, then we will do the problems, otherwise we won't. So just to see remember it is blindly you can remember like this sine opposite cos cos opposite sine cosec opposite sec sec opposite cosec tan opposite cot cot opposite tan very easy right so in this way you should remember so i will enter into the example problems if one solve the example problems then you yourself solve all exercise problems okay at the same time i will also explain okay see you then See now, uh, so we are going to explain example problems. So now, see first example 8. So what is the example 8 given here? The example 8 is evaluate six, uh, sec 35 degrees by cosec 55 degrees. So don't confuse here, it is very easy. And if you apply one law, simple logic, what we learnt in the previous class. So what we learned in the previous class, these are the ratios, complementary angles, right? Sin 90 minus x equal to cos x, cos 90 minus x equal to sin x, cosec 90 minus x equal to sec x, sec 90 minus x equal to cosec x, tan 90 minus x equal to cot x, cot 90 minus x equal to tan x. So just apply this formulas there, then you will get automatically you will solve the problems. Yeah. So just we will start with the first problem. So C. So now sec 35 by cosec 55 just see here we have complementary angle that is 90 some of the angles must be 90 right so sec my sec 35 9 first take the 90 so 35 so 90 minus 35 what is 90 minus 35 that is 55 yes or no yes so this is 90 minus 35 55 or you will take like this 90 minus 55 35 so these are complementary angles yes or no some of the angles must be equals to 90 so here just you apply that formula sec sec 35 can be write as cosec of what is cosec of cosec of 90 minus 35 okay sorry hi everyone uh, welcome back to our uh, youtube classes so today we are going to learn example problems on complementary angles with the trigonometric ratios what we learned in the previous class okay in the previous class we learned these all things right what are the things we learned in the previous class these are the things we learned in the previous class yes or no yes so trigonometric ratios of complementary angles so this is our, our topic now so these all things we discussed in the previous class please go with the previous class if you are not aware with this thing so at last we finally we derive these things so we should remember these things very carefully sin 90 minus theta equal to 90 minus theta or x in whatever it may be sin 90 minus x equal to cos x cos 90 minus x equal to sin x cosec 90 minus x equal to sec x sec 90 minus x equal to cosec x tan 90 minus x equal to cot x cot 90 minus x equal to tan x am i clear right so let us enter into the example problems so what is given us here he given us evaluate sec 35 by cosec 55 so given that given that sec 35 by 
cosec 55 yes so here what should we do here we should we know the formulas what is the formula sec theta or sec pad sec theta equals to cosec of 90 minus theta so i am writing theta instead of a you are we say you will write anything no problem next sorry sec a equals to cosec of 90 minus a anything you can write don't confuse here okay so next cosec cosec a is equal to sec of 90 minus a sec of 90 minus a right now here given sec 35 and cosec 55 now i am taking sec 35 here okay sec 35 can i write sec 35 is equal to sec of now i need 35 right 90 minus 55 so 90 minus 55 what 90 minus 55 90 minus 55 is 35 yes or no yes yeah 90 minus 55 is 35 can i write like this yes it is valid we can write like this sec 35 equal to sec of 90 minus 55 so as it is i am writing here ratio sec as sec okay just 35 i am writing as 90 minus 55 that is 35 now we have formula what formula we have the formula is here sec Sorry, here we have it, this formula. Sec 90 minus A equal to cosec A. Sec 90 minus A equal to cosec A. So as we have formula, sec 90 minus A equal to what? Cosec A. Cosec A. So now, here, what we will get here? Sec 90 minus 55 we have what is the formula sec 90 minus a equal to cosec a so sec 90 minus 55 equal to cosec 55 cosec 55 the problem is solved actually see how means so this is the sec 35 value right so just substitute this sec 35 value in the evaluation so that is sec 35 instead of sec 35 you should write cosec that cosec 55 cosec 55 by all our denominator is what cosec 55 cosec 55 so here both are going to cancel your answer is one understood so this is your answer so it is very simple just you know these things then just you have to write 35 as 90 minus 55 so sec 90 minus something equal to cosec something cosec 55 your answer is so it is value one so shall we go to the next problem okay is there any thing difficult to understand here no right so moving to the next problem your next problem is example nine example nine right okay example nine so what is the example nine given here example nine is that so if cos 7a equal to sine of a minus 6 where 7a is an acute angle find value of find the value of a so he is asking given cos 7a equal to sine of a minus 6 sine of a minus 6 where 7 a is an acute angle where a is an acute angle a is an acute angle acute angle a is an acute angle find the value of a we know we should find the value of a right now cos 7 a equal to sine of a minus 6 can i write cos 7 a like this cos 7 a is equal to sine of 90 minus 
seven a. How means? See, we have one formula, right? Sine ninety minus a equal to cos a. Yes, this is we have. Yeah, yes. So in the place of a, here seven a is present. That's it. Yes or no? Yes. In the place of a, seven a is present. So now you do this. It is very easy. Now e this one is we should write like this. So now substitute this cos a cos seven a value in your given equation. This is one. Okay. substitute cos 7a in 1 equation 1 so what we will get here that is sine of 90 minus 7a equal to sine of a minus 6 Yes or no? Yes. So as we had told, what he told us, A is an acute angle, okay? As A is an acute angle, A is an acute angle, here ratios are same, yes or no, sine, sine. So then, therefore, we should write 90 minus 7A equal to a minus 6 okay a minus 6 so so then what we will do here we should do this we have to solve this one okay we, if we solve we get this answer so what is that one i am doing here 90 minus 7a equal to a minus 6 so the same that mm, 6 this side 90 plus 6 equal to 77 that side 7 a that side a plus 7 a that is 96 equal to 8 a 7 a plus 1 a 8 a then 8 a equal to 96 a equals to what 96 by 8 then a equal to 8 ones are 8 twelves, right? 8 twelves. A equal to 12. What is the value of A? Value of A is 12. Can I repeat it again? Yeah, I can repeat it. So if cos 7A equal to sine of A minus 6, where 7A is an acute angle, find the value of A. It is a question. So I written cos 7A equal to sine of A minus 6. So here given A is an acute angle, right? So cos we have one formula that is sin 90 minus theta equal to cos theta or sin 90 minus a equal to cos a in the same manner sin 90 minus 7 a equal to cos 7 a yes or no yes so as as, as i am substituting this one so this 7 a value becomes sin of 90 minus 7 a i am writing as in this manner sin of 90 minus 7 a then it becomes sin equal sin of a minus 6 sin of 90 minus 7a equal to sine of a minus 6. A ratios are same and it a is an acute angle. So 90 minus 7a equal to a minus 6. If you equate, then you get the answer. Find the value of a. The a value is 12. Okay. This is your example 9 solution. So move to the next problem. So what is the next problem given here? The next problem is if sin a equal to cos b then prove that a plus b equals to 90 so solution what is given first we should write given sin a equal to cos b so we have to prove a plus b equals to 90 so we have formula right that sin a equals to cos of 90 minus a Yes or no? Yes. So then, then can I write sin a as cos 90 minus a? Yes, we can write cos 90 minus a 
equal to cos of b so here this equation i am writing okay here so in the place of sin a i am writing cos of 90 minus a okay so remaining thing as it is what is the remaining thing cos b cos b okay so here as a plus b equal to 90 prove that a plus b equal to 90 here a comma b are acute angles acute angles so what should i do here here cos cos both signs are same both ratios are same so then 90 minus a equal to b okay 90 minus a equals to b then send this a that side that is equals to 90 equals to b plus a so now you if you interchange then we will get a plus b equals to 90 yes or no we proved that a plus b equal to 90 clear so if you take in the you can do in another 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 also what is that method i took here sin a if you took cos a if you take cos a what will become cos a equal to sin of 90 minus a cos a equal yes or no cos a equal to sin of 90 minus a yes right then just here substitute in the place of cos you should substitute this one okay for cos b i will write here cos b equals to sine of 90 minus b for cos b okay uh, for cos b so i am writing sine a equals to sine of 90 minus b are you understood here uh, what i am doing here in the place of cos b i am writing this value yes or no yes so as here a comma b are acute angles acute angles so here a equals to 90 minus b if you send this b towards the lhs side it becomes a plus b equals to 90 yes or no yes a plus b equals to 90 here also a plus b equals to 90 here a plus b equals to 90 understood so if you do both ways anyway you will get the same answer yes or no here it is also same answer it is also same answer so just you know this transformations so if you know these complementary angles then you will do anything easily so now moving to the next one what is the next one 11th problem so just I will minimize where is the 11th problem so 11th question we need right okay here it is 11th question right so yeah now 11th one we have to do it so what is the 11th question given express sine 81 plus tan 81 in terms of trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 and 55 so what is asking us is asking us to express the sin 18 plus tan 81 in the terms of trigonometric ratios between angle 0 to 45 here 81 is there and here 81 is there we should represent them in the we should represent with 0 to 45 between 0 to 45 degrees but here 81 and 81 is there so it is very easy we will do this one solution so given that given sin 81 plus tan 81 tan 81 sin 81 plus tan 81 so can i write like this sin 81 as sin 81 equals to Mm, sine of 90 minus 9 what is 90 minus 9 90 minus 9 equals to 81 yes or no same ratio as it is i am writing just i am writing this 81 as 90 minus 9 okay no issue right so we have one formula that is 
sin 90 minus a equals to sin 90 minus a equal to cos a. Yes or no? Sin 90 minus a equal to cos a. So then, can I write this? So sin 90 minus 9 degrees as cos 90 degrees? Cos 9 degrees? Yes. Cos 9 degrees. Next. Tan eighty one. Can I write tan 81 as tan 90 minus 9 as the previous one as like previous one? Yeah, I can write. So now we have one formula that is tan 90 minus a equal to cot a. Yes or no? Yes. So then I write cot, sorry, tan 90 minus 9 equal to cot 9. Yeah. In the place of a, here what is there? 9 is there. Yes or no? Here 9, here 9. That's it. So we will finally we will get what we will get here. That is equals to finally we got that. Sign of 90 degrees minus 9 plus tan of 90 minus 9 that is equals to cos 9 plus cos 9 plus cos 9 cos 9 plus cos 9 degrees these degrees are between 0 to 45 or not 0 to 45 degrees or not check Yes or no? Yes. These are between 0 to 45. So hence it is completed. This is your problem and this is your solution. It is very easy, right? So just you have to know these things. How to write 81 as in the form of 90 plus or 90 minus. So just we know these things. Cos of cos 90 minus theta equal to what? Tan 90 minus theta equal to what? You know this. Just do this. Then you will get the answer. This is your answer very easy right so next moving to the next problem so this is your 12th problem and it is very easy problem also so now what is your 12th problem is the 12th problem solution we can write here if a b and c are interior angles of a triangle abc then show that sin b plus c by 2 equal to cos a by 2 so given that a comma b comma c are, are interior angles of a triangle interior angles of a triangle interior angles of a triangle then we know that We know that sum of the angles of triangle angles of triangle is 180. Yes or no? That is A plus B plus C equals to 180 degrees. Yes or no? Yes. Then answer this as equation 1. Divide the equation one with two both sides. Okay, so divide the equation one by with the two both sides. So then what what I get here? A plus B plus C by 2 equals to 180 by 2. So after solving, you get A plus B plus C by 2 
a by 2 plus b by 2 plus c by 2 equals to 90 right what he is asking us he asking us to find sine of b plus c by 2 equal to cos a by 2 he asking us to show this thing sine of b plus c by 2 equal to cos a by 2 so i will do here i will minimize this one uh, so now see now what i do here so as we need b plus c by 2 right so i am writing b plus c by 2 here and i am sending this a by 2 towards the rhs side that becomes 90 minus a by 2 yes or no yes so then after what i do here apply sin theta apply sine ratio on both sides apply sine ratio on both sides then what do we get here sin b plus c by 2 equal to sin 90 minus a by 2 yes or no yeah yes then sin b plus c by 2 equal to sin of 90 minus a by 2 so here sin b plus 2 as it is b plus c by 2 as it is and we have one formula what is the formula is the formula is sin 90 minus sin 90 minus theta sin 90 minus theta sin 90 minus theta equal to cos theta yes or no yes so that i am i am applying this formula here then it becomes cos a by 2 so see we show we show that sin of a b plus c by 2 equal to cos a by 2 we shown or not see here sin of b plus c by 2 equal to cos a by 2 clear so what formula i applied here sin 90 minus theta equal to cos theta or you can remember like this means you can remember like this sin 90 minus a equal to cos a okay now right very good right so you can remember this formula i substitute here and we get this okay so this is your 12th problem can i explain can i explain once again yeah i will explain it a comma b comma c are interior angles of a triangle we know that the sum of the angles of triangle is 180 so divide this equation 1 with 2 by both sides that will becomes a plus b plus c by 2 equal to 180 by 2 so a by 2 b by 2 c by 2 equal to 180 by 2 equal to nothing but 90 so we need here he is asking us to b plus c sine of b plus c right so that's the reason b plus c by 2 equal to 90 minus a by 2 so i am sending this a by 2 towards the rhs side so applying the sine ratio on both sides then i get sine of b plus c by 2 equal to sine of 90 minus a by 2 so then sine of b plus c by 2 equal to cos of a by 2 how the cost of a by 2 here I, why because here applying this formula sin of 90 minus theta equal to cos theta sin of 90 minus theta equals to cos theta that is nothing but cos a by 2 here in the place of theta here a by 2 is present so that it becomes simply cos a by 2 am I clear so this is your 12th example so as of now we discussed all examples here how many examples are here total total I hope 5 examples are here yes or no yes so five example we detailed explain every problem okay so this is your first one second one third one fourth one fifth one five examples are explained so excel problems are also very simple if you do these problems by your own okay so so this is your uh, example problems hi everyone uh, welcome back to our maths classes so now we are in exercise 11.4 so we already in the last previous videos we discussed the introduction to the 
all complementary angles to the trigonometric ratios. So now we are entering to the exercise problems. So if you know, if you are thorough with the example problems, then it will be very easy to crack you in the example uh, exercise problems. Okay. So I recommend you to go with the example problems once, then it will be very easy to solve the exercise problems. So okay, let us enter into the exercise. So now first bit, what is the first bit given is that the first bit given evaluate one first one is tan 36 tan 36 degrees tan 36 degrees first one right tan 36 degrees by cot 54 degrees so we have one formula that is tan 90 minus a equal to cot a yes or no yes we have this formula so what i am doing here i am writing tan 36 as tan of 90 minus 54 what is 90 minus 54 90 minus 54 equals to 36 Yes or no? Yes. So I am writing ratio as it is tan as tan, but I am writing this 36 as 90 minus 54. So then, so what is tan of 90 minus theta? Tan of 90 minus theta equals to cot theta. Or tan of 90 minus a equal to cot a. Am I clear? So what should I write here? that is equals to cot of 54 or cot 54 yes or no yes so we should substitute in this one then tan 36 by cot 54 degrees equal to tan 36 equal to what cot 54 right cot 54 degrees by cot 54 degrees so both are going to answer what we will get one is the answer okay am i clear this is your first solution so nothing is there how to write the 36 can i write 36 as 90 minus 54 right so i write here that tan 36 is equal to tan of 90 minus 54 90 minus 54 36 so as we have one formula tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta so here tan 90 minus theta that is nothing but cot theta so tan 90 minus 54 is there so that becomes it becomes cot 54 am i clear right <laughs> next one your second solution so what is your second solution is second question is given cos 12 minus cos 12 degrees minus sine 78 degrees sine 78 degrees okay i will explain this one so see now cos 12 degrees minus sin 78 degrees so yeah yes it is enough for me yes see now can i write cos 12 degrees as cos of 90 minus 78 what is 90 minus 78? 90 minus 78 equal to 12. So 12 can be write as 90 minus 78. Yes or no? Yes. So we have one formula. What is that formula? Cos 90 minus theta equals to sine theta. This is theta, don't confuse. Okay. So now here cos 12 can i write as sine of 90 minus theta that is equal to cos of 90 minus theta that is equal to sine theta that is equal to sine 78 cos 12 equal to sine 78 now this is our equation given equation right i am writing that one cos 12 degrees minus sine 78 degrees equals to cos 12 equal to sin 78 sin 78 degrees minus 
find 78 degrees so it is nothing but zero is our answer since you can write here since cos 12 degrees equal to sin 78 degrees complementary angles okay so what is the value here that is zero sin 78 minus sin 78 that is zero so this is your second solution is it clear right so see now what is it is simple very simple cos 12 is given cos 12 minus sin 78 so we should find this value so cos 12 can I write as cos 70 minus cos 90 minus 78 so 90 minus 78 is nothing but 12 so cos 12 equal to cos cos of 90 minus 78 that is nothing but cos of 90 minus theta that is sin theta yes or no yes so that is nothing but sine of theta theta is in the theta place what is there here 78 is there 78 i i, I wrote here so cos 12 cos 12 minus sine 78 equal to cos 12 equal to what sine 78 so in the place of cos 12 i am writing cos sine 78 so sine 78 minus sine 78 is equal to zero so this is a given equation okay don't confuse here this is a given one okay so i am substituting this one into here okay i am substituting this one so then i get the value is zero so next one so what is our next question third question the third question is so our third question mm, we will take another okay our third question cosec 31 degrees minus sec 91 degrees sec sorry sec 59 degrees so now so this is our problem so see here now cosec 31 degrees can be right as so we will do this thing here we will do this thing nothing cosec 31 can be write as cosec of 90 minus 59 31 equal to 90 minus 59 can i write it like this right 90 minus 59 what 31 so I am writing in this manner. So we have one formula. What is that formula? Cosec 90 minus A equal to sec A. That is equal to what we will get here? That is equal to sec 59 we will get here. Yes or no? Yes. So now cosec 31 minus sec 59 degrees equals to in the place of cosec cosec 31 equals to cosec 31 equal to sec 59 so sec 59 minus sec 59 sec 59 minus 59 0 that is your third solution then what is your next fourth one the fourth one is the fourth one given that as so i will do fourth one sine 15 into sec 75 sine 15 into sec 75 okay we will do here okay fourth one sine 15 into Sec 75. See once we will see the question. So your which problem now? Fourth problem. Sign 15 into sec 75. So we are doing with that, that one. So sign 15 into sec 75. So we do with that in the ring. Yeah. 
so now solution is now sine 15 can i write like this sine 15 as sine 15 equal to here 15 can i write as 90 minus 75 90 minus 75 what 90 minus 75 that is equal to 15 yes or no yes so can i write sine 15 as 90 minus 75 yes then we have one formula sine 90 minus theta equals to what sine 90 minus theta equal to cos theta or uh, the newer way sine 90 minus a equal to cos a okay so now can i write here sine 90 minus 75 equal to cos 75 yes absolutely we can write sine 90, 90 minus 75 equal to cos 75 now what we got here cos 75 into sec 75 yes or no yes so what is the reciprocal of cos cos 75 equal to 1 by sec 75 yes or no yes we have the formula that is cos theta equal to 1 by sec theta cos theta equal to 1 by sec theta that is equals to 1 by sec 75 into sec 75 then what is the answer 1 by 1 into 1 that is equal to 1 okay can i explain it again okay i will explain it sin 15 can i write as sin 90 minus 75 then sin 90 minus 75 equal to cos 75 why because sin 90 minus a equal to cos a then we got cos 75 into sec 75 cos 75 into sin value becomes cos 75 sin 15 becomes cos 75 so cos 75 into sec 75 but both are in different ratios so cos theta equal to 1 by sec theta we have so in the place of cos 75 i am writing 1 by sec 75 then into sec 75 sec 75 sec 75 going cancel then it becomes 1 this is your solution am i clear okay moving to the next problem what is the next problem given here it is fourth one what is your last one or fifth one okay here more one four two more problems there right so two more problems are here so what are those fourth is completed right so fifth one is there sixth one is there okay then your what is your sixth problem is the sixth problem is tan 26 into tan 64 tan 26 into tan 64 degrees so it is very simple see now we will solve this thing now here this is given what is given tan 26 degrees into tan 64 degrees now so can i write tan 26 equals to tan of 90 minus 64 yes 90 minus 64 what 90 minus 64 equal to 26 yes or no yes 90 minus 26 90 minus 64 equal to 26 so then now tan 90 minus 64 equal to that is we have one formula tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta if you are confusing i will reuse a okay don't confuse tan 90 minus a equal to 
Got the both are same. Got the okay. So now here in the place of tan 90 minus 64, we have what we have to write. We have to write cot 64. Yes or no? Yes. So we are writing in the equation tan 26 tan 64 this is given right given equation given now i am substituting tan 26 as cot 64 cot 64 into tan 64 so how to do this one we can we have one formula cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta yes or no yes so then what we will get here cot 64 equal to 1 by tan 64 into tan 64 so tan tan gonna cancel it becomes 1 your answer is 1 am i clear so it is very simple what i am doing here i am doing tan 26 into tan 64 yes or no yeah so tan 26 can i write as 90 minus 90 minus 64 equal to 26 yes or no yes so tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta that is cot 64 then tan 26 into tan 64 is given so in the tan in the tan 26 place i am writing cot 64 why because here we got right okay tan 26 equal to cot 64 then cot 64 into tan 64 then can i write cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta yeah 1 by tan 64 into tan 64 tan 64 tan 64 gonna cancel we get the value 1 so this is your first bit total clear explanation okay so next moving to the next bit what is the next second one the second bit is yeah the second bit is Show that second bit what is the second bit show that tan 48 into tan 16 into tan 42 into tan 24 is equal to 1 tan 24 is equal to 1 so now solution for this one tan 48 given i am writing given equation tan 48 tan 16 tan 42 tan 74 tan 74 okay so we will continue this problem see now what is the question given a tan 48 into tan 16 and tan 42 tan 74 into tan 74 is equal to one we have to prove this so first of all what should i do here yeah i will do can i write here i will write can i write tan 48 as tan of tan of 90 minus 42 why because 90 minus 42 what is the solution here 90 minus 42 what is the sum what is the result 90 minus 42 equals to 48 yes or no yeah so i return this 48 as in this manner 90 minus 42 okay i am clear next this tan 16 there now tan 16 this tan 16 i will write in this manner tan of 90 minus 74 what is the result of 90 minus 74 yeah 90 minus 74 is nothing but 16 am i clear right so i will change these means i will change these uh, things right now in that place of tan 48 i will write tan 90 minus 42 next tan 16 as it is tan 16 next tan 42 as it is no changes 
tan 42 as it is next tan 74 as it is tan 74 as it is okay next step what is tan 90 minus 42 that is nothing but what is tan 90 minus theta 90 minus theta tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta yes or no yes tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta so that is tan of 90 minus theta equal to cot theta that is cot 42 cot 42 into tan 16 and tan 42 and tan 74 so we change only one thing that is tan 48 we change it now i am going to change first one come to next one first i am going to change, next i am going to change tan 16 now cot 42 tan 16 as tan of 90 minus 74 90 minus 74 into tan 42 into tan 74 so cot 42 into tan 90 minus theta cot theta that is equal to cot 74 cot 74 next tan 42 next tan 74 am i clear yeah so next here see here tan cot 42 tan 42 tan cot 74 tan 74 we have one thing that is cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta yes or no we have this formula cot reciprocal tan tan reciprocal cot so can i write this as cot 42 equal to 1 by tan 42 so next cot 74 as 1 by tan 74 into tan 42 and tan 74 so now what do you what do we will get here we get that tan 42 into tan 74 by tan 42 into tan 74 so if you cancel the both things what is our answer one we shown that or not yes we proved this as equal to one so you remember these two things 48 can be right as 90 minus 42 16 can be right as 90 minus 74 then you remember this one tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta am i clear so if you know this it is very easy your problem is solved okay this is your first problem in the second bit okay moving to the next one what is the next question yours that is yeah second bit second one okay sub question it is sub question so we should solve this yeah it is easy we will solve this one solution okay so cos 36 cos 54 minus sine 36 sine 54 equal to 0 it will be very easy we will do this one what is given i am writing cos 36 degrees cos 54 degrees minus sine 36 into sine 54 okay right we should do just cos 6 36 cos 54 sin 36 sin 54 so i am going to change only one thing that is this cos 
I will do here. Yeah, cos thirty six. Cos thirty six can be written as cos of ninety minus cos of ninety minus fifty four. Yes, right. It thirty six can be written as ninety minus fifty four. What is the result? Ninety minus fifty four. That is thirty six. Yes or no? Yes. So we have one formula that is cos ninety minus a equal to sine a. Yes or no? Yes. So then it becomes sine fifty four. Yes or no? Yes. Sine fifty four. So here what we derived cos thirty six equal to sine fifty four. Cos thirty six cos thirty six equal to sine fifty four. So that is sine fifty four into cos fifty four minus sine thirty six sine fifty four. Sine thirty six, sine fifty four. But here we have to change something. That I that is cos. <coughs> Again, I am changing the cos. Cos fifty four can be write as c cos ninety minus thirty six. See ninety minus thirty six is what fifty four, right? So we have one formula that is cos ninety minus theta. So cos ninety minus theta equal to sine thirty six. That is sine theta. That is sine thirty six. Now here sine fifty four. Sine fifty four already we got. Next here cos fifty four equal to sine thirty six. Cos fifty four equal to Cos fifty four equal to sine thirty six minus sine thirty six sine fifty four. So now sine a sine b minus sine a sine b that is equal to zero. Proved or not? Hence it is proved, right? So moving to the next one. Did you uh, confusing here? No, right? Anything is confused here? No. So just we are writing thirty six as ninety minus fifty four and fifty four as ninety minus thirty six. So using cos ninety minus theta equal to sine theta. Sine ninety. Ah, uh, next same thing. Two formulas are same. Cos ninety minus theta equal to sine theta or cos ninety minus equal to sine theta. So if you use this, then you will get the value as zero. As it clear right? As it is clear right? Now moving to the next one. That is your third one. Okay. So your third solution. What is the third solution given here? The third solution. First we read the question. If tan two a equals to cot a minus eighteen degrees, where two a is an acute angle, find the value a. So we have one example problem also, right? So in the same like the example problem, we will solve this one. So that is given. Given tan two a equals to cot of a minus a t. Cot of a minus a t. So what should I do here? We have one formula that is can I write tan ninety minus a equals to Cot a tan ninety minus a equal to cot a. Yes or no? Yes. So in the same manner, in the same manner, what should I do here? Tan ninety minus a equal to cot a, right? In the same manner, tan two a equals to tan of Ninety minus two a. That is equals to. So I am writing here. 
sorry. No equals to required here. So tan to a equal to tan 90 minus tan 90 minus tan 90 minus 2a. Can I write like this or not? Yes. So now here what is given here that is given this one right. So in the tan 2a plus I am writing Now, see this, uh, see the third problem. What is the third problem here? If tan 2a equal to cot of a minus 18, where 2a is acute angle, find the value of a. Okay, so given that tan, given that tan 2a equal to cot of a minus a18 cut off a minus a18 right so how to find the value of a see what is the formula for cot can i write the cot a equals to tan of 90 minus a yes or no yeah i can write so by using this formula i am writing here as cot a equals to tan of 90 minus a so now tan of now tan theta where is tan theta tan theta tan a equals to can i write as cot of 90 minus a yes we have this formula right so in the tan a can i write cot 90 minus a yes So what should I write here? I am writing this as cot cot 90 minus 2a. Okay, cot 90 minus 2a is equal to cot of a minus a t. So why I write here cos 90 minus 2a because tan 2a equals to tan a equal to cot 90 minus a. Uh, tan 2a is equals to cot of 90 minus 2a okay so i am using this formula here okay clear right then as given a is an acute angle a is acute angle a is an acute angle so 90 minus 2a equals to both signs are same both ratios are same right so then a minus a18 that is equals to then this a18 that side 90 plus a18 equals to send this 2a towards rhs side a plus 2a understood a plus 2a that becomes 108 yes or no yes 90 plus 18 108 plus 3a 2a plus a 3a that is equals to a equals to 108 by 3 so cancel it 3 3 is a 9 3 6 the 18 so a value is what a value is 36 a value is 36 hence it is completed okay this is your third problem am i clear right so nothing confusing here i will explain one second see here tan 2a can be written as cot of 90 minus 2a cot of 90 minus 2a so you are already given cot cot of a minus 18 so as a is acute angle so uh, your ratios are same so 90 minus 2a equal to a minus 18 then you equate you get the a value right so the last problem so our last problem is so what is our last problem the last problem is if tan a equal to cot b where a and b are acute angles prove that a plus b equal to 90 degrees prove that a plus b equal to 
90 degrees C. Now, given that tan A equal to cot B, where A and B are acute angles, so that A plus B equal to 90. Can I write here we have tan A equals to cot of 90 minus A. Yes or no? Yes. We can write this formula, right? So, in the same manner, in the tan A plus, I am writing this one. Cot 90 minus A equal to cot B. As he told, as A comma B are acute angles, acute angles, A comma B are acute angles. So, what should I do here? 90 minus A equal to B. That is, then this A that side, that is equal to 90 equal to A plus B. Yes or no? Yes. Completed. A plus B equals to 90. It is very simple, right? So, this is your fourth sum. Next, anything is hard here? No, right? Just this one. Tan A equal to cot 90 minus theta. Cot 90 minus theta equal to tan theta. Okay. If you remember this, it is very easy. Now your last one, your last problem, I think so. That is your last problem. Okay. That does it, this is your exercise. Okay. Exercise is completed. So do you understand all problems. I hope every problem is understand understood by you. Okay. If anything, all are very clear explanation I given. So if you are facing any trouble anywhere, please comment. So I will resolve it and I will make the more videos on wherever you are getting trouble. Okay. Thank you for watching.